welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you today we're doing the lovely weekly reads as per the dates below in the video and i'm going to be reading for the lovely capricorns or capricorns as i like to say <laughs> so let's have a look what's coming in for you this week my lovelies capricorn how are we doing what are we doing what are we saying i feel like those two definitely want to come out for you so we have the hermit contemplation okay and the empress so you're looking about your you're just looking and thinking about your living environment at this moment in time um very nostalgic mind focus here and trying to plan things for the future as hard as that may be at the moment it doesn't stop us um trying to put some kind of focus on you know something for us to aim for and shape our world um, as a future vision hence why the empress here I feel very very sensitivity um on your on your shoulders very sensitive issues it's like you, you get these waves of emotion and it's and it's really really strange you can be all okay for one minute and then you get this sense of overwhelming and then you're sitting there thinking what why am i feeling like this Hence the Hermit card. It's like you get a, a, a washed with um, emotion. Okay. And it's saying go with your gut feeling. So I feel like you're, you've you got a second brain. That, that they call it your stomach. Okay. Your gut. And it's like we have these gut feelings sometimes. And then we don't act on them. But as we go through the end of January into February. I feel instead of just sitting there on your laurels and questioning how you are feeling or what you should be putting your efforts into it's like they're saying to you go with your gut feeling okay don't make a big sensitive issue out of it and just go with the flow okay go with the flow and shape your world interesting let's just get another couple of cards out of this deck what else have we got going on for capricorn I want to say as well, um, I'm looking at like the wrist area and it's as though I've got loss of feeling. In, in I'm getting loss of feeling, uh, pins and needles. So it's either carpal tunnel or there's some there's something to do with arthritis or you just, there's some, whoever I'm picking up with, there's, there's, there's issues here with chlorine, um, burning, tingling that may come around as we go into the start of February now if this is not directly with you it could be somebody in your energy circle you know parents uh, loved ones what have you who who will say to you my hand's really hurting it's really cramping it's really hurt. you know my wrist is really painful so just to be mindful of that because I do feel there'll be some issues around the wrist area going into the hand we've got the page of wands here and this is I love this energy it's like a momentum so I feel where you've been waiting on something or you've put things into motion or you're waiting to hear off a resolve on paperwork or what have you, it's like coming in and it'll come in quick and fast. Where you, so you felt something was out your reach and you didn't have any idea how this outcome was going to you know, finalise itself, that is coming in, going into February and it comes in with a gusto, uh, a really I don't want to say happy energy because it'll give you a great resolve. So where you've been waiting for something that's, you know, you're thinking, you know, it's nearly there. It's nearly there. I can more or less nearly touch it. So it could be an outcome of a loan. It could be an outcome of a payout. It could be um, an outcome of like benefits or anything like that or um, policies even, you know, your, your pension or a retirement little pot that you've got and it's like yes yes I've nearly nearly got it it's nearly within my reach and it comes in with a, a lovely um energy okay so that's in the mix for some of you not all of you obviously but then we've got here the world and that is a lovely card because it's it's an energy to say you are happy in your environment you are taking note of some synchronicities as well some of you may have noticed um set patterns or set numbers or we get these we get these little signs and symbols but it's a message from the universe to say they are helping you 
to get to where you are supposed to be on the next page. I feel a new chapter coming in here for you and that's why the world is coming in because your world is being manipulated and shaped at the minute by the the um, helping hand of the universe. So there could be things around you at the minute that you, you're thinking, why is this happening? And, it, and to you, it could feel like a negative. But all I want to say is out of that negative, take a positive because the universe is trying to get you on the right path. Okay. There's been some confusion around Capricorns um, of information that's been coming through to you. And it's, it's just blown your mind away. And you're thinking, I can't cope with this. I cannot cope with this, okay? But it's just saying, go with the flow because there is something in the wings with the universe. I'm just going to clarify that world card. What is going on with the world card? Okay, and we've got yin. It's about the energy. The energy is shifting and the universe is doing this. So as I said, just go with the ups and downs at the minute because the outcome as we look at this card again the page of wands it's going to be coming in on a high okay and it's going to be coming in fast but with a lot of happiness so i just want to see how the universe actually now before i do the universe card let's have a look at your inner psyche what's going on with your inner psyche capricorn And we've got addicted, okay? And the addiction comes in for some of you, as in you're, you're in these set patterns and you are addicted to the drama sometimes. Okay? In your deep psyche, it's like some of you thrive off drama, thrive off addictions, and some of you may be trying to break old habits knowing that it's, it's hard work. So in your deep inner psyche, you are thinking to yourself, you know, I'm struggling here at the minute. I've got, I've got these repeated patterns I keep doing. I'm either smoking too much or, you know, you're, you're, you're sort of aiding yourself through the day. And I know sometimes we have to have medication and everything else. And I'm not talking on those kinds of lines. I'm just saying you're, there's an addiction here with you where you can spiral your, yourself down to a low. So even though you're having a good day and there's no real need to feel on a low ebb, you can just switch that light bulb, okay, that, that switch on the light bulb and you can just plumb it and it's an addictive trait to you. It's as though if you don't feel pain, you don't feel normal. And that is a really strange thing for me to sit here and say, but I know people who are like that they don't feel pain in the day, then they just don't feel like they're alive. So that's a really deep card. That one is for your caps, who I'm picking up with here. But I feel like it's saying to you as well, you need to get a grip. You know you need to get a grip on these self-sabotaging addictions. And we've got message in a bottle here. So I feel like there is going to be some kind of information coming through to you. There's going to be um, some finalisation and you will have a conversation with some legal person because I feel legalities here. I feel legalities for some of you uh, where, as I said, you've been waiting for this um, policy or loan or what have you. But as I said, it's going to be coming in as a high, but you're just waiting for that one phone call um, to give you the heads up. But it's not that far away. It's not that far away, Caps. So... Let's have a look at how the universe sees you this week. How's the universe seeing Capricorn? Capricorn. Okay, and we've got this card here. And when I look at this card, the universe is just making you realise that you are a beautiful person inside and out. As I said, you beat yourself up and... You've got this uh, tendency uh, for the drama and the self-sabotage. And the universe has taken this picture to say, 
you are the swan energy of you glide along making out to your nearest and dearest and put a brave face on and I'm okay, I'm okay but underneath everything's getting to you and you're paddling like a hell for laddie underneath the water so it's just saying the universe knows that you are putting a front on knows that underneath it all you are struggling okay so that's why that card has come out for you so as I said you've got to try and dig into these ad addicted patterns okay the spikes in the back of this person it's like uh, it's like an infliction like you're, you're inflicting the pain on yourself I don't look at it as like being stabbed in the back on there because they're spikes, they're not knives. So it's like you've impaled yourself basically, walked backwards and caused this pain upon your shoulders. And this is what you've got to start um, releasing yourself from, okay? Even if you have to pick up the phone for some of you, that's why the message in the bottle, I just feel, you know, that you don't need to struggle and you, you may need to get some help or counselling or what have you. But... The universe is showing you that to say, you know, you can't fool me because underneath the surface, I know you are drowning in emotion. You are drowning and struggling, on a, you know, some of you on a day to day basis. So that's quite deep, to be fair. Um, so let's just get a clarifier on this card then. What else we got going on for Capricorn? Round and round. <laughs> it just strengthens what I said round and round repetitive patterns and this is what you've got to break okay caps you've got to stop this well self dwelling you've got to be um stopping saying I feel like the martyr okay and putting this fake face on of oh, I'm fine I'm all right where I am and underneath you feel like ter you feel terrible I want to say even say that word you feel terrible within okay um, so there has got to be some changes here and you you know that but you do struggle but at the end of the day I do feel that there is some resolve coming in for some issues that have been worrying you and I do feel financially okay I do feel, feel financially for some but it's saying the universe has got that covered and as I keep going back to this card here where you thought something was out your reach it's going to be coming in with the momentum it's like all the help and assistance you need will just start to come flooding in okay over the next couple of months so we've got two animal spirit cards and we've got the energies of the horse which is the alchemical sign of air and the oyster which is the alchemical sign of water taking you as the oyster because it's you clamming up you hiding your true feelings and not speaking out and you find it easier like just to keep bottling things in and bottling things in and clamming it all up okay the horse is the um alchemical sign of earth which brings you stability and grounding and it's like the wild entity of this that i love of this card it's got a new crescent moon as the third eye and it's like to say a new phase is going to be coming in rushing in and it's that rush of energy which i said here okay with this card i keep going back to the page of wands it's a, a lovely energy that's going to be boosting its way in and it's like wild horses will not stop um this coming into your into your energy fields and i do feel as i said um february march time okay so it's a really nice positive energy because it brings in a new phase so where things have been a little bit untamed, where you have been untamed as well, um, a bit of a wild horse, cut, no control. It's about getting control back on your life and being able to allow these um, feelings to come out. Okay, because it's like containing a wild horse within you and you've got to allow your feelings and everything to come out. Okay, because you're, you're bottling things up caps those who i'm picking up with here you are bottling things up so i'm just going to get some clarifier on these what else have we got going on for capricorn and we've got the lovers okay so 
the lover's card comes in and I want to say it's it's a message to say love yourself caps get the self love back because of this self sabotage and this um, a love hate re relationship with yourself okay because you are your worst own, own enemy sometimes okay you're your, your own worst enemy I'm just going to get another card out for this. It's funny, you know, I always say when I look at this card, she always looks like uh, Danny Minogue, Carly Minogue's sister. I don't know why, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> Danny Minogue. Right, and we've got Justice, okay? Justice card comes out and... As I said at the very start, justice is because you are going to get your payouts, you are going to get your financial gains. And justice, where you've got to get a balance. I look at the scales here. It's about getting balance back in Capricorn over the next couple of months. Um, I just feel your energies have been all over the place and it's about getting back on an even, even keel. So let's have a look at the messages from your loved ones in spirit. What have they got to pass on to you this month? Well, week even. Because we're at the end of the month. Can't believe we're at the end of January, guys. So what have we got here from the spiritual family? What would they like to say to you this week? And we've got let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So as I said, those Capricorns where, you know, you're trying to preempt things, judge things and what have you, it's saying just let go, just go with the flow. You are being protected by the universe and you are being guided. And as I said, even the negativity things sometimes um, will come out as a positive. So don't overthink things, don't overanalyze things and just let let go like Spirit is telling you to do. So as it's the end of the month, the last weekly read of January, I'm just going to dip into my charms and just see what comes out for you. Okay. And we have, wow, well, we've got a little sunflower and I like this because it's about planting wishes, planting seeds. And this is what you need to be doing. You need to be planting seeds of a positive nature for the future ahead. And the sunflower, I look as the actual sun for this. It's like to say there's no been no light and it's all been very, very dark. And you have felt like a flower in the shade. But it's saying the sun is going to be coming back and you will feel the warmth, okay? And know that sunnier times are ahead. Capricorn, I want to say sunnier times are ahead. So that is a really nice charm that's come out there for you. So I'm just going to finish the read off with my little bit of meditative poetry, okay? That I've done in the journals. We haven't seen these for a while, have we? So <laughs> let's just have a look what I managed to scribble down before we started this reading today. And we have, listen to your inner voice as it will give you the strengths you need. Turn your head to a creative skill as a passion will start to bleed. Through your body and your mind, you are a chameleon who likes to change. Out with the old, in with the new, time to rearrange. So yeah, it's time to rearrange, out with the old, in with the new you, I want to say. Because you are like a chameleon and you can adapt to your surroundings quite easily. But as I said, you put this brave face on um, and underneath it all, if we remember the card from the universe, you can't sort of pull the wool over their eyes because, you know, you, you portray that everything is okay on the surface, but underneath um, you do struggle. But I hope you can take some of those messages away this week. It's not going to resonate with everybody. But don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs for any extended. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Because it keeps me ticking over here on YouTube. And I will look forward to reading to you next time. So take care my lovelies. Bye then.